Hey guys, how's it going? It is Clary Berry, and I'm here today with the uh, Cardano uh, Smart Contract reading. This is going to be for the 12th through the 15th. Um, thank you for um, the one who requested this video. It was already on the way, but I love that we're on the same um, the same track, same frame of mind here. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Um, the 12th is the start of three aspects, and we have the first one as Venus, Sextile, Natal, Mercury. Okay, this is fun. This is really getting exciting. It's like when that point that you're doing so well, you're almost to the peak. You're almost to the renewal. Okay, um, but yeah, it's good, popular, fun energy, and this will actually be peaking on the 18th. So let's keep that in mind. Um, on the 12th, we also have the start of Venus sextile natal Mars. So our theme obviously here is passion, fun, results, which is awesome. Okay, it's gonna be peaking around the same time, um, 17th, 18th. This it has a balanced sort of energy um, to it, but it's still just really fun. And this is about this is about mastery and this is about making things happen and it's about realizing that we're the ones who have the power we have the power all we have to do is open our eyes but really it's also looking within but anyway this is there's like a spiritual aspect creeping in here but it, but this aspect is actually fun it's um kind of coming through as the fun of working through some problems and kind of the I guess the status that would go with that so it, it's coming off to me like uh, it's gonna be very clear to a lot more people that Cardano that Ada is you know over the hump out of you know again separated from where we used to be because now this is I mean honestly this is just this is great you know the cards are great here the, the start Again, remember, these are just starting on the 12th, so, but it, again, it, it can bring in some really good new energy, especially with all three positive aspects. The third aspect that is starting on the 12th is, uh, happens to be the sun conjunct natal sun. So I think for, um, you know, the 12th, you might still be kind of gathering up this energy and it's still the beginning of a new beginning energy. Okay, and this one peaks on the 12th. This, you guys, sun conjunct sun, this is birthday. Okay, so the birthday's not on the 12th. The birthday's on the peak when it is um, the 17th. So this is good energy, okay? This is really good energy here for the start of, you know, it, it's it's just, isn't it funny? Isn't it, isn't it funny that on the start of these, the day of the start of the smart contracts, we have all of these starts of these, this great new energy. Sextiles, conjunctions, we able to get our point across, whatever's going on at this time, you know, is going to be kind of setting the tone for the whole entire year. And what do we have, you guys? We have nine, eight, ten. Okay, mastery, again, accomplishment, attainment, fruition, renewal. Again, you get that renewal after you hit these new peaks. Okay, and it may go up and then come back down a little bit. This is a little bit of changeable energy here, but again, this, the, I mean, just for the 12th, right? Um, especially we don't have a lot peaking on the 12th, so we still have some of that Mars uh, in conjunct Uranus that was peaking on the 11th. So, you know, still can be a little bit wild and fun and crazy. You know, obviously our themes, again, passion, fun, um, and there's a popularity too that comes with this. Okay, um, however, you know, our earth signs here and our height is just suggesting that it's somewhat stable, not necessarily just going up and then coming right back down and staying there for a year like, you know, like maybe other cryptos do or like certain things, you know, that have happened in the past. Oh, wait, waiting, waiting game, waiting game. Okay. This is, this is excitement. And again, it's renewing everybody's whole outlook on Ada, which has already been happening. And it's just a great sign to see that here on the 12th, again, starting energy for what's coming for the next year for Ada. Okay, so great, 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 great. So 
the 13th, we have the peak of Mercury square natal Pluto. And that is a little bit of distractions, a little bit of sideways energy. Again, a little bit of people are processing things. They're maybe not acting. They're maybe uh, thinking and feeling a little bit more so. And so maybe, you know, it's got some either sideways or just up and down, you know, energy there. So the 14th is the peak of Sun square natal Saturn. So that is a little bit of, um, it's a little, it's supposed to be a little bit of, you know, you, not necessarily bad luck, just I would say not lucky. And, you know, there are some blockages and it's like, you're, you're trying to go somewhere. You've got an uphill battle here. You're just getting started. Um, but the struggles are not going to last if there's any struggles. Um, on the 14th. Okay, the 14th, I just want to make a note too. The 14th is the end of a couple of sort of confusing aspects. So that's going to be good for us. That's going to help us to, I think overall, even on the 14th, blast through, even though again, this energy that's peaking isn't the best. We still also have the end of some of these other um, energies and the card that was pulled, I feel like a three you know, for even kind of a not lucky aspect, that's pretty good. So I think the cards are really leaning towards, um, you know, even 14 maybe being better than 13 here. So on the 15th, um, this is when Mars um, is leaving Virgo and entering into Libra. And so we become a little bit more tactfully um, assertive and social and I think that's gonna be a good thing um, more long more a little bit long to medium term good thing here um, for Ada you know just because again everybody's talking about how and we've talked about this before there's this cool there's this cool element uh, it doesn't have to try too hard it just really is just a, a great thing you know and it's like it's the thing is it's been trying too hard it's been you know it's like the nerd that um works so hard throughout its life that finally now it's like they don't even have to try to be cool or you know get the ladies because they're rich you know and it's like that's this energy it's like i don't even need to flex because y'all can already see how strong i am right um i can just chill now and kind of it's enjoy enjoyment you know, and fun. And I think for a lot of people, still totally blind. Still, there's an element of a lot of people waking up. And that's good. Again, this social energy, this fun energy, that is attractive. And that is drawing people in. They know what Ada can do. They know, you know, a lot of people kind of will just follow the hype. But again, I don't think just because we have these smart contracts and everything starting on the 12th. That's just not usually when you see like big, huge moves. Although we did have some really, I think, good energy. It's kind of a matter of take, it's up to us to take that step. So we'll see, you know, when it happens. But again, the end of these negative aspects, the start of these excellent positive aspects, it's really just speaking to, you know, if we don't do a whole lot with this, we are about to. The 15th with this Mars and Libra, again, people are talking, they're sharing, there's nothing but, again, adding to this popular fun, new people coming in, new beginnings, um, people are still being led by their intuition here. We have the start of, um, on the 15th, more good energy starting, okay? 15th is the start of Sun in conjunction natal Uranus, which peaks on the 20th. It's very sudden, very unexpected. Again, just positive in the green, good stuff going on. And then we also have the um, start of Mercury conjunct natal Jupiter. So again, that's adding to this more people, um, just new opportunities being, you know, ready to be started. And it's kind of adding to this slight breather, you know, before we jump. It's just like I'm getting little jumps, little breathers, big jumps because it's long-term. There's so much long-term energy here that is so good. Again, there's nothing that was negative except for the, the aspects that are ending here, right? We're getting over the hump and then it's again, it's, getting, it's like you're not even going to have to try. Success is just going to come to you. 
but still we're in the beginning. So again, it's just a really good position. You know, it's like when you're the birthday girl or the birthday boy or whatever, you know, when you were a kid and we actually had birthdays for ourselves, you know, we, it's like, and everybody's, you know, it's all about you. And it's the one year, it's the one time of year, you know, where it's all about you. And that's kind of like, and, and, and things just go your way. Like, it's kind of like the energy here that we have. And it's also, again, that sort of page your dues. Ada has definitely worked hard and now it's time to celebrate figuratively, literally, astrologically. It's all there. It, it's all, um, it's all cohesive and it gels. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think. Again, the 12th might not be the biggest day ever, but we're ushering in new energy. I wouldn't be surprised if we eke it out in the green again for a Sunday, even when, you know, it, it might not be, uh, what you would expect, right? 13th, not expecting huge things. 14th could surprise us. 15th, again, bringing in even more good energy. So probably, you know, I get it. We don't have a lot peaking that day. And we still kind of have this leftover, you know, the, the, the biggest energy there is wearing off of that peak of that sun square natal Saturn. So again, could be a couple of little stumbling, you know, blocks and again, people just not being able to see. So all, I think the, you know, the main thing here, keep uh, educating, keep on, you know, exposing the higher learning, the higher, you know, knowledge and intuition and, uh, you know, talking about the changes, exposing the changes. It's just going to take a minute for it to sink in for the masses, you know, and to get to that big next level. But again, we are definitely doing the little two steps forward you know, one step back. We are definitely doing like, that's what kind of this energy, because again, we don't want to blast off and start the race too early. We're starting the race here this week. Again, we finished up a cycle. You can clearly see that. And now we've got this new beginning. And when we're in the middle of this new beginning, you know, the middle of this, these days that we're talking about here, it's like, again, clearly going right up, going right up maybe one step back, you know, and then just, it's a, it's a steady burn. It's not going to be blowing out the candle anytime soon. So hope this was good for you. I'll be back real quick with some more videos. I uh, will not leave you guys hanging this week. So much love, many blessings. Thanks for all the love down in the comment section and the likes and all that good stuff. I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.